Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the FCS Football Channel and we are talking about Manchester United today which is something I feel like we haven't done for a while and we've got good, good news. Manchester United have submitted a second bid to Dortmund for Jadon Sancho, that's according to Sky Sports. The bid is rumoured to be around £67 million with £8 million worth of add-ons, of course meaning that would be a £75 million bid. Whether or not this will get accepted, we don't know. Obviously, the rumours are that Dortmund are holding out for £80 million. But what this does mean is we're trying to fast-track this deal. We're trying to get it over the line early, which is fantastic and exactly what we need to be doing. Let's face it, Manchester United are awful at getting deals done. And with a Euros competition going on, often, too often... We see we don't do any deals until after the Euros, meaning we have such a short little, short amount of time between getting the deal done and the new season starting that we don't make enough transfers and we don't get enough sign-ins. Which in then turn obviously means we're not as good as we should be. And even when we do get that player, they're not they're not fully like involved. I fit well, involved is probably the wrong word. It's like they haven't been in training. They don't know the players. They haven't learned the new system that they're going to be playing in. And the fact we are going to get Jadon Sancho done so early might suggest, A, we're going to get a lot of transfers done, and B, this club might be on the turnaround. Obviously, I'm still going to be Glazers up no matter what, but the Glazers have been speaking a lot recently about how they're going to change, how they are going to put the club first, this, that, and the other. Maybe this is... At least for this summer, they're going to show that and going to try and prove it. And look, if Jane, we can get Jaden Sancho done, absolutely brilliant. So I mean, let's talk Jaden Sancho. What will Jaden Sancho bring this Manchester United team? He'll bring creativity. He'll bring a fantastic right winger that will get down the line, get crosses in, and will just—he's just a fantastic player, isn't he? He—he he knows how to be a winger, and that's something we miss here at Manchester United. We want a player that will beat a man, get across it, and look to create for our number nine. And that is what we'll bring. That is exactly what Jaden Sancho will bring to this Manchester United team. He will create chances, whether it's Anthony Martial, whether it's Cavani, whether it's Greenwood up top, he will create chances for them. Like we saw when Pogba play on the left, we will see that on the right with Jaden Sancho. And Jaden Sancho can and will be our long-term right winger. It will be an absolutely fantastic signing. We'll have support for wan Saka and a long-term partner for wan Saka on that right wing. Because at the moment, we kind of see Dan Jane plays there. Greenwood plays there. We've seen Rashford play there. So wan Saka can't build up that connection, that partnership with someone down the right wing. I think we've kind of seen wan Saka getting on with Rashford and Greenwood on the right. And a partnership beginning to grow there. But it's not often enough to, to really have one build brilliantly. With Jaden Sancho, we will have that. And we will have, like I said, a long-term right winger that will play week in, week out for us. What a deal this would be. His numbers at Dortmund are mental. Last season, in uh, 26 games, he got 8 goals, 11 assists, I believe it was. Absolutely outrageous numbers. And that this was an off year for him, really. Full of injuries. And had a difficult first few months of the season due to his move to Manchester United last summer not coming through. So I believe Jaden Sancho can and has potential to take us to the next level. And the fact we are getting this deal done so early is only a good thing. While it's, look, it's not the only signing we need to make. Of course it's not. We've got players like of Iran, maybe we need to do. We need to get a centre-back. We need to get a defensive midfielder. But to get this Jaden Sancho deal done... And um, because that's sort of what it looks like it's going to be. It's going, it looks like it's going to be done quickly. It's fantastic. And it's only going to help us this season. Get get Jaden Sancho used to playing with this squad. Used to the system. Get Jaden Sancho in done, dusted. And so we can look at other signings. Because we can only make one deal at a time. We've, we've seen that through years gone by. We only do one deal at a time. If we can get Sancho done quickly, we can then move on to a Kieran Trippier if we want him. Move on to a Varane. Move on to a Declan Rice. And at, and by the time this, the season starts, boom, we have a full team ready to go challenge for the Premier League title if Ole Gunnar Solskjaer proves to be a good enough manager. I think if we do, we have to get these signings in. I think we have to give Ole Gunnar Solskjaer the squad that he wants and then see 
is he good enough? Because a lot of people say he's not. A lot of people say he is. A lot of people like me are on the fence. If we get him, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the squad that he needs, the player that he wants this season, then there's no debate. It's either he turns up and shows he's good enough or he's not and he should go. But look, that is going to be it from me today. If you have enjoyed, please do hit that like button below. Subscribe if you are new and you haven't already. Good news, Jadon Sancho is going to come for you to Manchester United. It's only a matter of time. And I'll see you all in the next one. In a bit. Peace.